Hello and welcome back to Miss Finance. Today we're going to have a look at cost of sales in detail. So we're going to have a look at the different elements in cost of sales, do a few calculations just to try and help you to get your head around what's going on there and the formula that is used when you're undertaking your exams. So let's jump straight into it. So cost of sales is made up of opening inventory and this is a positive. It's also made up of purchases which is also a positive. And then we have purchase returns, which is a negative. And then we have closing inventory, which is also a negative. And that there gives you your cost of sales. So let's do a few examples with this in mind. So let's make this a little bit smaller. So what if I had cost of sales of 300k and I had a markup of 50% but you're asked to work out what are the sales for the year net of VAT. Now we know a couple of other elements to do with cost of sales so with markup your cost of sales equals 100% and with margin sales equals 100%. So if I have a markup of 50% then this means here in this question that cost of sales must equal 100%. So if 300k equals 100% what I need to do is take the 300k divided by 100 and times by 150 and that gives us 450. Okay moving on. So next, what if we have sales of, let's say, 120k, which include VAT at 20%, we have margin of 30%, and we're told that opening inventory equals 15k, and closing inventory 20k. So we're asked, okay, what is purchases? So we know again, with margin question, sales is 100%, but we need to do 120 divided by 120 times by 100 to get to the sales net of VAT, because we don't want VAT on this. So that gets us to 100. So if that is 100% and we have margin of 30%, that makes cost of sales 70k because profit is at 30% which is 30k but if we put this over here in this sort of format what we would have is opening inventory of 15k purchases we don't know but closing inventory of 20k but we know that cost of sales equals 70k so this plus question mark minus 20k gives us 70k so if we work that out on a calculator so the missing dot here is 75k so purchases would have been 75k okay moving on okay so this time we're told sales equals 90k again this includes VAT at 20% and we have margin at 35% opening inventory at 20k so we're asked, okay, what is closing inventory? So to work out this top bit, we'll do 90k again divided by 120 times by 100. So we're stripping out that VAT, and that gets us 75k. So if sales equals 100% with margin, that means that cost of sales is 75k times by 65% in effect. So if I did 75 divided by 100 times by 65, that gets us 48.75. So I can work out the profit bit, but I don't really need to, to be honest. So step two, so we have opening inventory of 20k. We have purchases of 50k. Remember, you can use this above. And then closing inventory, we don't know right now, but we know it's a negative. 
and then at the cost of sales we know that we'll take like x plus like no, 20 plus 50 minus something gets you 48.75 so i think that is 21.25k let's work it through so 20 plus 50 minus 21.25 yeah gets us 48.75k okay so moving on again so this time around we are told that cost of sales equals 275k and there is a markup of 30% so we're asked what are the sales so very very simple so 275k equals 100% so sales has to equal 130 so 275 divided by 100 times by 130 gets you 357.5 so if I did 357.5k minus 275k gets me 82.5k and that's it now there is one last way that they can actually ask you a question on all of this and that is by saying stock has increased or decreased in the year and if they give you a question along those lines basically we can take this and change it ever so slightly so this is your number one way of working out cost of sales but we could substitute this entire formula by saying purchases less an increase in inventory or plus a decrease in inventory so you're going to have one or the other so that's obviously going to be a positive figure this is going to be a negative and this one's going to be a positive so if they turn around to you and they say cost of sales equals 200k at the year end but there was an increase in inventory of 5k then if we put this formula to use what you'll see is we've got our cost of sales figure of 200k we know that there was an increase in inventory which is negative of 5k so by default purchases in the year have to have been 205k so you just need to work this backwards so let's do it again so if they turn around to you and they say just change this slightly cost of sales is 180k at the year end and we've had um, a decrease in inventory of 20k and they say what is purchases then all we do get our formula out so we know that the cost of sales is 180k we know that a decrease in inventory is a plus so something plus 20k equals 180k so that makes purchases 160k because that's the balancing figure so let's do one final one here so sales for the year equals 310k including VAT just watching the exam because they might give you that figure net of VAT but if they say it's including VAT you've got to strip the VAT out okay so we know here that margin is 10 percent we're told opening inventory is 10k we're told we to have purchase returns of 5k and closing inventory is 20k so step one sales we take that 310k divided by 120 to buy 100 and that gets you 258.3k but see then so with a margin we know that this equals 100% so the cost of sales has to equal 90% of that so if we do that just by 0.9 yeah. 232.5 so I'm just rounding with this so next step I'll put it over here so we have opening inventory of 10k we have purchases which we don't know we have purchase returns which we know are a negative so that's 5k we know closing inventory 
and that's a negative of 20k and then the total is your 232.5k so your purchases do 10 minus 5 minus 20 minus 15 so let's just do plus 232.5 so I think that should be 217.5k so let's work it through just to make sure so if you put this in in your exam just do the calculation once over just to double check see that's wrong so let's do it again so if I actually add 15 and add 15 247 let's see if that works so 10 plus 247.5 minus 5 minus 20 gets you 232.5k so it's very important for this reason to go through this just once after you think you've calculated it to make sure that it works back so i hope that gives you a better understanding of how to work this out if they're asking for different elements of cost of sales in your exam consider subscribing as i'm going to be putting out more tutorials and i shall see you on the next video